Big shout out to Dolfo for guessing the price of my binder in my Collecticon vlog video. Dude nailed it on the head with this comment right here. $950. A little context. Just a little. Hey, chill out. Hey, 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 chill out. Anyways, hey. I forgot to record this, so I'm doing it down here in the living room. Um, anyways, little context. I went to one table. They offered me 600 bucks. I said, no, sir. Went to the, chill out. Went to the next one. I said, hey, give me 1100. The dude's like, mm, looks through the whole thing. How about, how about 900 bucks? And, uh, we end up closing on 950. So shout out to Dolfo. Hit me up on Instagram. Claim your prize. Getting some sealed items. Talk to you soon. <laughs>what's going on everybody figured i'd show you guys like all of my crap so check it out check it out we'll start we'll start in the closet up here booster cases we got lost origin cases galore we got four of them up there another four of them up here i think just one right here yeah nine lost origin cases. it's a lot of cases so let's go into my office. Let's check out my office, shall we? Check out some of the other stuff. So we're just going to basically do this. Come on. Come on, dude. Got to unlock it. You, gotta, you get, definitely got to have a lock on your effing, uh, on that, because the kids getting in here would be a disaster. Turn on the light. All right. So, yeah, we're just doing a quick room tour, checking out all my, all my crap. It is not a great situation, let me tell you. Um... Figure that'd be a good time to do it. Show you, uh, show you like the dark side of collecting. It's dark. It's it's dark right now, bro. So let's take a look at all this. So it uh, inside of my videos, usually like this is the column you'll see in the videos. This is gets a little bit more messy. I got different stuff going on here. Just a bunch of different crap. I've got a picture of my daughter. I got a picture of like the toys that I need to fix still. Oh, so yeah, this is uh this is where we get into it. So, all right, video games that I'm collecting, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh games, some more video games here. Absolute fan of the CGC slab, so these will be going to get cracked here soon. Um, yeah, we're not not even gonna get into that yet, but yeah, stacks of just slabs. These I took out of my, um my case because I didn't want to bring them to Orlando or whatever Dallas with me. So this is just a bunch of my collectible Zapdos cards. Just literally just chilling here. No rarity Zapdos. Just chilling. Got all the gas. All the gas. Um, inside of here is some different sleeves and different crap. Got another one of these. That's just miscellaneous cords. Bunch of slabs down there. We'll get into it a little bit. So what's going on just on the tabletop? Just on the effing tabletop. What is this? More Zapdos cards. Um, you got to have the batteries. You got to watch. Thing is freaking fire. This was a gift from a, a guy I had on my podcast. Shout out to you, Lieutenant Surge. Hooked me up with a freaking watch. Um, dude's a legend. Um, yeah, so got some first edition base. Just commons. Uh, pretty much put most of the one, extra ones I had in my binder. Got some Pokemon too. Shout out to Professor Oak. Uh, blue back Top Sun cards, just chilling. Need to figure out what to do with those. These are like playable Pokemon cards. I uh, maybe not. TBD. <laughs> These are just more miscellaneous cards. More cards I need to get sold. So all of this is just uh, a lot of stuff that's got to get sold. Pretty much a lot of PSA 9s. All PSA 9s, essentially. Let's take a seat. Take a look at it. So these are all PSA 9s vending series here. These are PSA 10 vending series cards. Um, yeah, those are the PSA 10s. I got a stack of PSA 9 LOB first edition. Um, uh, sadly, they're all 9s. I do have a stack of 10s somewhere, yup, in here. But uh, just more miscellaneous, more vending series, more Yu-Gi-Oh, some more vending series. 
These are the ones that got effing sevens. Oh, this is these are eights. Uh, we're talking gem mint eights. Probably an eight, I'd hope, because of the centering. Because the card's flawless. Zero whitening, zero scratches. Um, so yeah, that's just chilling there in the eight slab. Take the L on that one. Now we're traveling over here. Uh, more video games. My Diglett. My wife made me this. She crocheted the Diglett for me, bro. Um, some of my favorite video games. Um, Windows. Uh, some of my packaging materials. Um, random celebrations boxes. But again, these are my favorite video games. These are all games I grew up playing. Um, Halo 2, Halo 3, GTA 3, Devil May Cry, Super Mario Bros. 3, Ice Hockey. These are my two iconic games from the NES. I played the crap out of those games. Um, down here, a couple of more um, video games. And just outside, so this is like in the camera scope usually, like right here. Um, over here is not so much. So they just, like, just outside of the scope, it gets a little messy. So I need to start just throwing crap away at this point. Like I got just a stack of like, what is this? Playable Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, this is like uh, Edison format stuff. So it's really cool stuff, but I just need to put it away. Empty binder deck. Um, just a bunch of bulk from the new 25th anniversary, a bunch of bulk from the last whatever sets. A cool Zapdos Lego that I'll never put together because it's like a million pieces and it's so effing small. My hands are massive. Um, these are all like penny sleeves. Whole case of penny sleeves. Um, and a Pokemon VHS for some reason. Binders. These are my binders. Um, let's take a look. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. Haven't shown these off much at all lately. So this is like my PC binder. Just uh, gifts and just stuff that I love that probably is never gradable. Um, these are like Orica fan-made cards. But these are just some of my favorite cards. None of these are probably gradable. I've gone through it. Pulled out all the gradable ones. But just some of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards. Absolute heaters. Um, these are all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards so far, but we'll get into some Pokemon here shortly. Love the Rayquazas. I bought a piss ton of these. One of my favorite Blastoise cards. Kyogre EX. More Kyogres. My favorite Kyogre art. And a Gold Star. Tried grading it. It has tape on the card. <laughs> Just pretty cool though. Bunch of stickers. Um, these are some uh, error cards. So this is a weird error haunter. It had like a weird pattern on it this is a blue dot vulpix this had like a weird you can see two different colors on the the uh the magnemite uh miscut base set two diglet might need to grade that one a square cut foozly air dragon uh some more cool cards this was the demons deck review i did on my channel which was pretty cool a bunch of the promos i got from them some cool cards i got tennis wolf basic trainer uh, shout out to uh, my guy, Echo Base Collectibles, Nostalgic Memories, Professor Oak. Just some really cool cards that I've, like, these are pretty much all Zapdos cards I've been given, and these are pretty freaking awesome. Similar to Diglett's. Somebody, I, man, I'm drawing a blank on who gave me all these cards, but these were from the, uh, I believe, the Christmas thing we did. This was really cool. Got a bunch of cool cards. I think those are all from Peaked at You. Shout out to Peaked at You. Also gave me this for the Christmas giveaway. Got that boy just chilling. One of my favorite Kyogre cards. Uh, this was a jungle pack I opened. This is the pack I believe I got out of Pokey Rev's um, uh, mystery pack or whatever. I, I got a jungle pack. I did one Pokey Rev pack and I got a gold pack. Shout out to uh, Old School Pokemon. Gave me these Wiglets. Awesome. And these are the pickups from the last Collecticon. I already peeled them in. And these are a couple of my favorite cards there. But yeah, that's about it. That's about that binder. Check. Let's take a look at another one. Why not? Shall we? Shall we? That one's... Let's take a look at this one. I got a whole bunch of crap. I got way too much crap. Top Sun Blueback. 
uh, work. I was working towards this binder. These are all blue backs. Um, obviously, there are holes inside of this. So if you got any of the ones I'm missing, let me know. I would like to complete it. It ain't cheap. I'm not looking for gem mints. They don't need to be gem mints. Um, they just need to be binder copies. Like, quick glance, the Blastoise looks good. Charizard looks good. Venusaur looks good. Like, let's go. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Not a cheap card. It's probably, I don't even know, 200 bucks still raw. But uh, yeah, this would be a cool binder to complete. What else we got? Magic, some random Magic the Gathering that I should never bought. Oh, baby, we got, can't forget about this. Can't forget about this. Let's go. The Glizzy Bible. The Shadowless Glizzy 360 card effing binder. This thing is untouchable. This is the best binder I own. Untouchable. You Name another person who's got a binder like this. I still need to do this for Wiglet. It'd be pretty easy. Because they make so many reverses, I'd do it in the reverse one. Or the full art one. That'd be even cooler. But yeah, those are the binders. Um, got some bubble mailers in here. Uh, maybe more in here. Yep, more bubble mailers. Uh, let's take a look at the desk. So here's the desk. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff going on. So I got a deck here I just play with sometimes while I'm in meetings, just waiting. A stack of slabs a mile high, some more slabs. Um, I got a, my Pokemon deck here. Sometimes just want to shuffle up and deal. These are my uh, video game slabs that I'm selling. There's only like three of them in there. Let's, oh yeah, up here, up top. Let's go up top. These are World of Warcraft cards um, that I opened a ton of. So this entire five row is like full. I penny sleeved every card. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th anniversary uh, displays. Uh, over here is more of a mess. Like it's just too much crap. I just got computers and hats, chargers. <laughs> like these are all full with cards. All these different eras. This whole section is hollows, reverses, and... Oh, Jesus. These are all shadowless energies. Lord. That was a disaster. Uh, base set. This is all shadowless base set here. Every single one of these. What is this? This is like unlimited base set, but near mint if it's in a sleeve. A bunch of first edition Team Rocket. Just pretty much everything. More sets down here. Oh, forgot about these boxes. Video games. Bunch of video games. Let's go through this one at least. The the, the big one. So yeah, I uh, bought a bunch of video games a while ago. I bought these probably th almost three years ago. Just bought a whole bunch of them. They were dog cheap like each one of these literally was like 10 bucks when i bought them they were so cheap i'm like bro that like this box is mint the box is effing mint full complete everything's inside of it i bought it for literally ten dollars all of these were like ten dollars a piece so i was like these displays it displays so well just like in the freaking box $10 a piece. I don't know where they're at now. I haven't been watching these at all. So I bought multiples because they're so effing cheap. Green version. Gotta love the OG that never came to uh, the US until Leaf Green. Here's more extras. Like those are just like the clean ones. Um, I have others as well, but you can see I have a problem. Bunch, a bunch of video games. Awesome display pieces. Um, these are more English games, CIBs, red version, blue version, um, this is my favorite game of all time, this is my original blue version when I was a kid, pretty dope, but yeah, just, there are some sealed games, this is sealed, this is like a remake, the, Wada actually grades these, which is the dumbest thing in the world, I saw they graded it, so I had to buy it. I cannot find this game 
with the original printing. I can only find greatest hits. So if anybody can find this game, the original printing, the black label, hit me up. I'm a buyer. This game is awesome. Guitar Hero Aerosmith. All Guitar Hero games. Guitar Hero 2. Sealed. Probably need to take better care of my games. Not going to lie. Another Guitar Hero game I bought for like a dollar. Call of Duty Go Sealed. This thing's kind of beat up. Ten bucks. Bunch of CIBs. A black label. Or a black box baseball that I bought for like ten bucks. Some more CIB games. Gold and silver down there. Let's take a look at a couple of these boxes, shall we? Pull out a couple of random slabs. Let's do it. Let's do it. Getting down on the floor. Let's try. So, yeah, as you can see, I got a bunch of crap. So, this is like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. PSA 9 Kinetic Soldier. PSA 9 DD Survivor. PSA 10 GBI Obelisk. Like... PSA 10 Magnet Warrior, PSA 10 Raw, like this is my Yu-Gi-Oh collection part of it, Star Deck Joey, PSA 9, Crush Card Korean, PSA 9 Exodia Piece, Exodia Piece, that's some fun stuff, what's in here, what do we got, oh we got the cool wiggly tough I bought, it's like a matte finish, there's like a really cool hollow on this. Barely any sparkles, like compared to a normal card. Let's see if I can find a normal one. Probably not. Some of my favorite cards. Farewell, farewell, Kyogre, 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 Kyogre. Crush Card Virus Gold Series Korean Pop 1. And a Zapdos. Probably should sell that one since I got it in a 10 now. So those are some of those cards. Yeah, more farewells. I absolutely love this card. Y'all sleeping on this thing. Charizard, Pikachu, Mewtwo, Mew, and Gyarados in one card. So dope. What else? I'm making a damn mess. It's already a mess, and I'm making more of a mess. Put those back. Side of here, what do we got? So we got a bunch of slabs down there. This is my... CGC 9 base unlimited set just chilling in here and getting great displays um, These are all Diglett cards. I believe all my Diglett PSA 10 shadowless Shout out Mason Cardinal gaming. He gave me that one PSA 10 basic Diglett There's a Zapdos in there just chilling I Need to I need to do like a refresher for my Diglett and Zapdos collection. I think I think it's been long enough. There's a perfect drowsy. The only perfect first edition base set drowsy. Just chilling next to these amazing rare cards, you know. That's how I do it. Griddle Greaser Pete, signed by Catch Mall Collectibles. Highest offer in the comments. Might get it. But yeah, figured it'd be cool just to show you how much of a mess uh, my current situation is. Um, I just don't have time for life right now. Uh, there's that Wiggly Tough again. Take a look at some more of these. These are full. Uh, that's PSA 9 First Edition base. So those are all like the non holo Pokemon cards. Um, what's in here? First Edition, Watsy, Zapdos. These are like First Edition 9s, I think. Just jam random ones. I'm not listing them for sale. I think they're pretty cheap. I probably should sell them. I don't know if they're going to go up ever. I doubt they. <laughs> if I had to guess, I'd say they never would. Just because there's so many F and 9s. Uh, 9.5, need to regrade that to PSA. Same with this one. First edition Rocket Zapdos, a bunch of nines. Collector Boy, Collector Boy, that's what the problem is. Uh, this card, love this card, PSA 10, here comes Team Rockets. Slug, Steelix. What else we got? Let's take a look at what's in this. All of these. A couple PSA 10 Shadowless cards. Every single one of these cards is a Shadowless starter. Pikachus, Red Cheeks, or Charmanders, or Bulbasaur's. 
the lowest grade is probably a seven. Um, these are shadowless hollows, this whole row, I believe. Not the best grades. Oh, the eights. So, yeah, all the shadowless hollows on that side. Some more shadowless nine unlimited. That's a terrible card. Oh, I probably got, I think these shadowless nines went for like seven bucks on PWCC one time. I was like, yep, I'll buy that. Way cheaper than the cost of grading at the time. Probably should sell them. Probably maybe get my money back. Really cool. Shout out to these guys. Superior Fit Innovations. Really cool. They fit perfectly on like CDC and PSA slabs. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Um, I'm in shambles. I got way too much to do. Appreciate you guys coming through, checking it out, the video. Hit the like button um, if you enjoy this type of thing. Maybe I'll do an update video when I, uh, I get this whole boy cleaned up. But appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good one. Peace. <laughs>